right. <laughs> All right, let me preface this game with the fact that this game's impossible. <laughs> um, True. And I think we're good to go now. So should I give a countdown? Yes, okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Go. Okay. So <laughs> please bear with me and listen closely. Be no, I'm just kidding. So this game is really, really fun. This is Umihara Kawase, little known Japanese uh, awesome game where I mean, I, for one, absolutely love grapple games. And you can see every single move uh, BJW does here is insanely complex. Uh, once he grapples onto something, there's all kinds of inputs you can do. You can lengthen your rope, you can shorten it, you can kind of swing around on it. And every single combination of inputs is just absolutely insane. Um, it's absolutely nuts. And I, and I think, honestly, this is probably my favorite grapple game. Um, so coming up here is actually, uh, BJW is telling me this is his uh, favorite level in the game. Um, it's actually, he loves seeing if he can make the uh, snail cycle. So let's see if he can do it. There it is. Nice. Uh, nice. All right, well done. All right. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Got him. Yep. So... The, uh, what really also I love about this game is the uh, level design. Uh, you can, obviously, there's a lot to this level, for example. You're supposed to go all the way around the level, but uh, you can actually just kind of swing up the side of it. Uh, you, on this next level, you're going to be something, seeing something pretty similar as well, uh, where there's just this absolutely gigantic level, but you can just kind of swing along the bottom of it. Um, you can actually, so there's a bunch of routes through this game, uh, and each level has a bunch of different doors. I forget if that particular one has more doors, but there's all kinds of doors, and uh, there's, a, there's really a lot to see in this game. Now, up, coming up is going to be our first boss. Uh, for such a cute game, he is actually a terrifying, ferocious beast. Uh, it's, I mean, if you have young kids watching this, you might want to turn them away, just because uh, it's pretty surprising just how ferocious he is. Yeah, um, I might go. need to kind of cover up my yeah, eyes myself. So. I'm a scared. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I think I'll be okay though. Um, so yeah, so this boss is actually going to take, what, like 10 minutes? Uh, <laughs> it's roughly two minutes. Okay, two Close minutes. Enough, though. <laughs> um, in the meantime, it's, it's kind of an auto-scroller. There are six different bosses in this game. Uh, one is this tadpole. One is the return of the tadpole with the much meaner level design. Um, there's a couple levels where just rings of fish come at you, and you just have to uh, chow them down, as Umihara does. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, and let's see. There's also a seahorse level, which isn't really timed, and then one more you'll be seeing at the end of this level. But in the meantime, this one is just kind of... You just need to wait them out. You can um, chow down these tadpoles. Put them in your backpack, excuse me. Frogs. I, she, she, I think she's... <laughs> the tadpoles uh, like frogs, yeah. man. Oh, so, sorry, yeah. yeah. And I don't think she's um, even a pescatarian, so I don't think she eats any of these. She just puts them in her pack for, for later uh, storage. But yeah, I mean, through this boss, honestly, if we want to do, give a couple donations, it's a good time for it. Of course. King Torture donates $100. Yo, I love Umihara Kawase. Let's go. $25 from Janie Face. A little more for the Zelda Glitch Exhibition Pot. Love what you are all doing. Yep, so um, we're coming up. How many more cycles is it, PJ? Uh, this, this is the final cycle. The... Or he's going to lay eggs one more time, oh, and then it. he'll jump off. Got it. After. Um, yeah, so what these guys are supposed to do is if they do reach the water, then your little backup strat of being able to hide underneath is a lot harder. But uh, if you just eat them up immediately or pack them away immediately, then uh, it's not so bad. So uh, now he just flies over the door. 
Now, uh, BJW was telling me before, this one coming up is actually his favorite level. Uh, he loves how just coming coming out of this boss, it just throws you right back into the action, and there's immediately insane amounts of uh, grappling you need to do. You need to watch out for those birds and just kind of immediately climb to the summit and uh, run away to the door. Now, so you might have seen uh, Kenny Man's runs in the past and just thought, well, well why isn't this game over yet? I thought it was so short. Um, but it's actually, he's doing the longest possible route through the game. Uh, there are 49 levels in total, and this speedrun visits uh, 26, whereas you can beat the game in actually as few as nine stages, which uh, BGW has done yep. in the past. But uh, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of uh, stages in this game that you won't be seeing. You only see less than, slightly more than half. Um, so, but there's there's a whole bunch of stages, and this one actually visits as many as possible without kind of, because um, you can't like cycle through or anything like that. Uh, there are actually four different ending stages in the game. Uh, three of them you can reach just by going from door to door, stuff like that. But one of them you actually can only reach if you just uh, sit and wait in this game for 30 minutes. Uh, then it's th the next door you go to will take you through one of the um, to one of the any one of the ending doors. And there's one actually that you can't reach otherwise. So even if you just reached, uh, even if you just kind of uh, sat and waited on the first uh, stage of the game, and it, you would need to go through a few deaths. But yeah you could reach it. This is actually, uh, oh, you were telling me before, this is your favorite stage. He loves the idea where he can just climb onto that kind of uh, ledge and just wait for it and climb up afterwards. You just kind of are climbing, just waiting on spikes. Dude, every stage is a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> They're all so good. Absolutely. This is my favorite song. It's yeah. my favorite song, too. Um, so here, BJW needs to, hang, to kind of uh, pull onto these moving platforms. They're not moving just on a timer. He's actually pulling them down and then just kind of jumping on them. And then coming up is something I haven't, I think we haven't seen yet either, which is ice. Now, ice is not only very slippery to stand on, but it also, uh, you, can't, you can't attach your hook to it. So you just need to keep that in mind. And otherwise, uh, you can attach, obviously, as he's doing, to any other surface in the level, but just not that ice. So you just need to route accordingly the level before this, we saw moving platforms, but now we kind of see me moving doors. So BJW, this is such an annoying corner to get around. It's, it's so, so much of this game is just kind of geared to make it uh, very difficult, but not quite impossible. Nice. And very nice. So he, he went, that was a, that's a really hard uh, Yeah, that's a pretty hard to get yeah. around. It's really finicky. But yeah, so there are these moving doors that he just needs to pull up, similar to how he did the moving platforms. I just wanted to point out the company that made this is TNN. Don't get through. Is what? TNN. Oh, I love them. Yeah, can you tell us what it stands for, BJW? Uh, I believe it's Think of Needs of Notice, Human Being. That's right. Or for Human Being. For Human Being. What are we supposed to think of? Needs, needs of, notice. of Notice. Oh, like what? Like Umihara? Yeah, oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> are there any others? Um, think about Crab. Think about Cancer, maybe? <laughs> true, true, true. Um, so here we are. We are thrown into the back into this kind of watery level where um, it's just kind of filled with graduated cylinders. Is that what those were on the bottom? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, so uh, actually, this. Uh, yeah, so this level is filled with Legos, and that's what qualifies this as BJW's favorite level. He loves the nostalgia this fills him with of just. Because Legos were his favorite toy as a kid. It's, it's also it's the door sounds right here. It's especially the uh, Space Police 2 oh. set. Oh, no! Oh, that's dude. all right. You just get more time in your favorite level, so that's okay. <laughs> um, he especially loved the Space Police 2 set because he loved assembling kind of these... I mean, uh, he, always, he always wanted to be an astronaut anyway. So just being able to kind of fill his dream, like pursue his dream of becoming an astronaut by way of building a set of blocks which let him do that, would um, let him do that. So thank you for that. <laughs> um, unfortunately, uh, he absolutely hates this level. <laughs> he hates the idea of just kind of, he, he just went through space in his mind and he's kind of coming out of his reverie of, you know, this gigantic space exploration where now just he's 
back on Earth with the rest of us peons. But it's, it's still a pretty good level, though, and that's what makes this his favorite level in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so you've actually seen a bunch of different level sets right uh, so far. Um, I don't know if you've seen them all. There's a ton of them, but uh, each oh, one has its distinctive theme, and it's it's pretty awesome. I guess this is just kind of like a junkyard theme because there's piles of maybe just like a harbor. There's yeah. a bike wheel. There's like nuts and bolts there. Some litter. Whoever was here was just really inconsiderate, but um, and the they a beached fish. Oh God, there's magic card. <laughs> <laughs> Used uh, to calm down. Pretty terrifying. Nice. Yeah. Each one of these uh, enemies actually has kind of a dedicated name to them, I think, but I, I haven't memorized it. Nice. There are a bunch of. Uh, this game's pretty hard to get through. There, you, you don't have any continues. You can see there he has 11 lives in the upper right. Uh, there are some lives strewn around the game, but it's very difficult and it's extremely easy to die. He actually hasn't gotten hit once, this except for no, he hasn't gotten hit once, I think. There but and <laughs> it hopefully would, it stays that to, way. Yeah. I hate to jinx that for you though. So this is the other really really scary boss. Um, he's careful. He's gonna get you. Uh, there's actually a little known. Crab emote on Twitch, if you guys wouldn't mind just doing that. I'd, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Um, but this crab is just kind of going to make uh, really spooky gestures at him and pretend that he's going to scare him. Uh, I don't What do you have to do on this stage? Uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of platforms here. Crab is going to go back and forth multiple times, each time breaking a platform on the leftmost side. And eventually he's going to break the platform leading to this door. Mm -hmm. So it's another timer boss. I see. Um, what do you think about this level? Uh, it's one of my favorites, assuming I don't die to it. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Little baby crabs. Dude, shout out to the entire Umihara community, by the way. Especially the western one. Mm -hmm. My boys, CFB, Jarmar, Sunker, Megiddo, MPU. I'm gonna forget some people. Uh, Shadax, Kennyman, Maple. BT Volta, rename. Can't forget you, man. I guess now actually would be a great time for some more donations. Yeah, please. yeah, it would be perfect for yeah, donations. Oh, so of ideal. Of course. An anonymous fifty-dollar donation says, "I love this game. It's so much fun to watch BJW destroy it, especially since I'm terrible at it. And honestly, that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. I'm horrible at grapple games. This is amazing." Umihara's got a really, really nice level curve. Um, if you, it looks impossible to watch BGW doing all these crazy things, but the level design works it in such a way it staggers the mechanics very nicely. So if you want to try it, just go, just practice. It's really friendly. It, it looks terrifying, but trust me, It'd it's be fantastic. It would, this game would be fun if it was just like a one level game and a sandbox just to swing around it. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. What are the other games in the series? There's uh, Shun for the PlayStation. Yeah, there's Shun on PlayStation, and then on handheld consoles, there's uh, Sayonara. All three of these are also ported on Steam, so if you guys are interested, definitely yeah, check it out. Good. And then um, her cousin actually makes a appearance in streamers for the NES. <laughs> and uh, Does she? Some people think that there's... Well, he. Thank oh, you very he. much. Oh, he. Oh, excuse um, me. Some people think that... Uh, this new Super Hook Girl is a spin-off on this, but don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I think Umihara is also in that new flying game coming out. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Uh, I don't know either. It's by, like, Nikalis. Her dad pulls Has, a special like, curly though. from yeah. Cave Story and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, one more to go. Who wants that block? In the bottom right, the high score says 6158. <laughs> If anyone knows why it's 6158, please let us know. Maybe Add that was their best speed run time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's one more platforming maneuver left here, so. That? Is that scary. it? It's spooky. Did you get it? Not <laughs> yet, not yet, almost. <laughs> Oh! 
okay. Right. That's okay. a level you probably don't want to redo. <laughs> no. I made that scarier than it should have been. Dude, it's my song. I had like I a mini heart attack there. I didn't know that was a platform. So yeah, this is really the home stretch. Um, I'm, I'm sure BJW is pretty fond of these levels. Uh, I never asked him about these ones specifically. Yeah, though. time is coming up, by the way. Yeah, this is the level. And time. Dude, nice. sick. Deathless. Yeah. Unreal. Oh, it looks, yeah. 14 so is pretty good. Yeah, 14.53. Yeah. So, really nice job, uh, BJW. Solid run. Yeah, really happy with that. Yeah, let's give it up for BJW for that extremely, if I do say so myself, very cozy Umihara Kawase run, and Blecky for that, as always, awesome commentary. Yeah, super comfy, comfy game. Yeah. Thank you, guys. BJW Thanks for watching. Do. Think about needs of notice for human beings. <laughs>